Karen Ahmed, and today on Cravings with Adventures, we're making a delicious black forest trifle. Now, my love for this dessert goes way back to my childhood. My father used to purchase this black forest cake from a bakery that we loved, and I still have memories of the layers of delicious dark chocolate cake together with the sour pitted cherries, fresh cream, and everything was smothered in chocolate curls. When we came to Toronto, I noticed that Black Forest Cake was available in most grocery stores, but sadly, it didn't live up to my memories of this delicious cake. Today, we're going to take the concept of the Black Forest Cake and all of its indulgence, and I'm going to transform this into a trifle format. You're going to love it, but before we go any further, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. I upload new videos every week, so make sure that you're subscribed. Also, make sure to ring the bell, that's YouTube's new bell icon. That will ensure that you are notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. I'm starting with a simple sketched out plan to ensure that I balance all of the ingredients perfectly together. I'm going to prepare the jello a day ahead to give this plenty of time to get nice and firm with the perfect jiggle. Add two packages, this is three ounces or 85 grams each of cherry flavor jello to a jar or bowl. And I'm going to add half of the recommended water. To get a really firm jello you can cube, it's important to add just two cups of water instead of the recommended four cups. Pour this into a glass jar and allow it to cool and throw in some fresh pitted cherries. When it's set, it's really firm. Cut these into cubes and keep them aside. I've also pre-baked a cake. This is just a regular 15 ounce, 232 gram package of dark chocolate box cake. I've divided this into two layers and I'm gonna cut this into cubes. I'm also going to be using two cans of cherries. Just remove the cherries and add the juice to a saucepan. Add some kirsch or cherry brandy or liqueur to the juice and bring this to the boil to reduce. Allow this to cool. I'm going to add two cups of heavy cream to my stand mixer and I'm going to whip this together with four to six tablespoons of sugar till it's nice and fluffy. Once done, I'm gonna leave this aside to keep cool in the fridge. I'm also going to enrich in the taste of the cream by beating one cup of mascarpone. Once this is nice and soft, I'm going to fold it together with the whipped cream. Now for the fun part, the layering. Start with half the cake. Followed by one can of the reserved canned cherries. Add some of that reduced cherry syrup and follow with half jello and half cream. I'm gonna spread this cream out as evenly as I can. Repeat this process again. Cake, cherries, syrup, jello, and the latter half of the cream mixture. Using an icing tip, I'm just going to pipe swirls around the bowl just to make it look very similar to a black forest cake. I'm going to top it with fresh cherries, and of course, what black forest is complete without some beautiful chocolate curls? This is so delicious and so decadent. The cream is so light and yet it has so much flavor and is a perfect contrast with the syrup soaked chocolate cake, the canned cherries and that burst of flavor from the jello. And of course, those chocolate curls take this above and beyond. Thank you so much for joining me in Cravings with Adventures. I hope you enjoyed this delicious recipe for Black Forest Trifle. Trust me, it is pure decadence. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Do share this with your family and friends. I have a goal to hit 20,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So I really hope that you can help me get there. Also, make sure to ring the bell. That's YouTube's bell icon. That will ensure that you are notified every time I upload a new video. And don't stop there, follow me on all of my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and even Snapchat. Till I see you next time, take care guys. Bye.